Hi, and welcome to another one of my how-to videos. In this video, I want to tell you how to make an animated GIF picture file from a video file. And I want to give you a bit more info about a program that was in my very first how-to video called Photobi. And if you have not watched my very first how-to video, which was how to make a GIF without Photoshop, please watch it before you continue watching this video, because this video is a part two, and the my first video is a part one. But anyway, there are one, let's see, one, two, there are about three methods that I know of that you can make a GIF from a video file without using any websites and using all completely free to use and download Windows operating system programs. But the only two that we're going to be using is a video decompiler that is completely free. I got it off the internet, duh, and Windows Movie Maker. Now, the first method I'm going to show you is Windows Movie Maker. So, the first thing you want to do is go on the internet and download the video you want or whatever. Get it on your PC. Next, import it into Windows Movie Maker. And then after you do that, take the video and drag it down to the timeline in Windows Movie Maker. In right here. Now, make sure it's all to all the way to the beginning. Okay, it's on the very first frame. And then what you do while it's on that frame... Go up to the top right here and click on Tool, or Tools, yeah. and then click on Take Picture from, from Preview, and that'll save the picture that's in the preview box. Now, another way that is, another trick that's really handy is that whatever effects you apply, except for like um, double speed and half speed, but I mean all the visual effects and everything, I mean even fading into another video will all be captured in the picture, which is really nice. So it's like having a video, um, a real AMV or animated music video, which you know people make on the internet on YouTube all the time, in a GIF file format. That's one way of making a GIF that um, I showed you. Anyway, another way is to use a video decompiler. Now to get the video decompiler that works pretty good, the first thing you do is bring up your internet browser and search for Soft Depot, which is a website. The website is www.softdepot.com. Click on that, that result. And next, when it comes up to this page right here, go down to the bottom and click on Video Decompiler. It's completely free, and you can read all the details about it. It supports AVI, MPEG, WMV and ASF video file formats. And the next thing you do is click on the yellow link down here that's just which is download and download it and install it onto your um PC. Well, wait a minute. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. And then after you download it and installed it, um activate your video decompiler. Oh, whoops. Okay, I already had it up. Anyway, click on Browse. Once you get your um, video decompiler up and everything, and I'm a Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy VII fan, so um, just for a test or whatever, you can Im import any video you want. And you got to be patient with this, because the longer the video is, the more time it takes to do everything. And then... Preview type, set the preview type to shrink to fit. This will not affect the outcome of the picture, just the preview box right here. And then on the output format, put on JPEG, which is kind of standard and it works in Photobi pretty well. So, anyway, after that. And then next, you go down here and you click on save an image af after each. You um, check that mark box, check mark that box or whatever. And you can click on 10 frames, 20 frames, or 30 frames but 10 frames is, will be the best quality for the GIF so you click on that and you can play the video just to you know play a demo and everything and then after you got the settings all that you want it you click on play and save per frames and that will save each individual you know frame to everything oh oh before you um, click on that though you gotta browse and put it in an empty folder which is the best thing to do so anyway that's one way of uh, doing doing this and stuff. Now, there's there's a neat trick to this. 
when you use the Windows Movie Maker method, it's manual and it's really slow. But you get the um, frames per second, like like skip three frames and everything, kind of like that. It's you have more a bit more frames options, but that's it. And another trick that's really handy to do is that if you want to make a video yourself and make a GIF of that video, all you have to do is just you know just for a test like here like have one video and then fade it into another one add the effects you want or anything and then you publish it to your computer and then after you do that you enter in that video file into your video decompiler and it does the work for you and it turns it into individual frames and that's an easy way to do it and you'll learn how you'll know how to um, make the gif in photoby if you watch my first video now a bit more the tips about um, photoby is that I got two questions from my very first video which is feedback and my first question was can you edit a GIF and yes you can edit a GIF in Photoby all you have to do is just um, click on file up here bring up your Photoby and click on open bring up the GIF file and everything and then in your layer manager box right here you just um, add or delete a frame or whatever move them up and down you can alternate you can um, alter the speed and everything of the gif and all and my second question that I got was can you do it from a um, make a gif from a video does this photoby have that um, capability and no photoby does you cannot just use photoby alone to make a gif from a video you have to have like windows movie maker or a video decompiler and that's pretty much it oh oh one more thing is that in Photoby, if you're making a GIF, all your GIF files or the pictures that you, it's going to be in your GIF have to be the same size. Because if they're not the same size, your GIF will not turn out right at all. And, well, that's it. Um, also, we, um, we just, me and one of my free help guy friends, we have set up a website that is freewareaddicts.spruz.com. And it's a great website. Um, it's under construction right now. It's a great website to find all kinds of um, free programs and everything, like Keegan's and codes and everything, like stuff like that. It's like image editors and audio converters and all that kind of stuff. Check it out. There's a link in the description and in my channel. And if you have any comments, you know, post it on this video or in my channel, and or send me a private message or anything. And if you have any ideas for one of my um, help videos or tutorial videos, please tell me and I'll make a video of it if I can. Thank you.